What is up, everybody? Tuber vs. TV today, and we are just a few two days into October, and we you know it never changes. The Sony fanboy is being salty over Starfield. It is funny how this game's been on almost well, a month now at this point. You know, usually the hype dies down for a game, people stop talking about it, but nope, Sony fanboys still can't stop talking about Starfield. We have had several games released during the time this game was out. Several big upcoming upcoming games coming out, but you know, still can't stop helping talking about Starfield. So, this is what the Sony fanboy wrote, which got a lot of uh, attention on Twitter. Did y'all notice how the game of the generation was forgotten about in less than a month? Hashtag Starfield. So this game has just been so forgotten about, so to say. It's just funny how he can't help but not mention the game that's forgotten about, in his opinion. So. This guy gets completely obliterated and roasted in the comments section, rightfully so, because their obsession with Starfield is just insane. <laughs> and the butterness of all this game. Just because it's not on PlayStation platforms. No other Bethesda game got this much hate and vitriol and this obsession over besides Starfield, because this is a console exclusive. Oh, uh, well, Xbox exclusive on PC as well. So let's see what people have to say about this ridiculous comment. Guy talks about a game, says no one's talking about it. The irony is real. Yes, definitely a lot of irony right there. You're the only one who have forgotten about it. I wonder why. Cyberpunk clears. And then this other weird tactic where now they're using third party games to try to say this is better than Starfield, like Cyberpunk. This game was irrelevant for like two years at this point. It's only being brought up because Starfield is the big RPG on Xbox, and now because they need an RPG to compete against Starfield to say it's better. They did the same thing with Baldur's Gate 3, now they're doing the same thing with Cyberpunk. Funny how they can't use a PlayStation game. That's just so sad. You can't even use a PlayStation RPG or a PlayStation game in general to say it's better than Starfield. You have to use a third-party game. It's just pathetic. Um... <laughs> uh funny part about is that the moment that the most recent Spider-Man 2 trailers came out, Xbox have just been participating in console wars. <sighs> what do people say to this reaction, right? this post right here? Barilla's PlayStation opponents who literally couldn't go a week without mentioning Starfield. Yes, literally you got a new Spider-Man 2 trailer, new Spider-Man 2 footage. Yet they only talk about Starfield. It's like, what? <laughs> We're playing Starfield. Yes, I think most people who have an Xbox who are into Bethesda games are playing Starfield. Like, I'm still playing Starfield as my go-to game on Xbox. So, I don't think it's forgotten about, but this guy says it is. That's really... 160 hours in and I'm still loving it. Cyberpunk is great too. Yes, you can play both. Yes, because if you want an Xbox, you can play both Starfield and uh, Cyberpunk. <laughs> there's no there's no bag and forth. You just play both. So... If you got PlayStation, you can't do the same. Yet you are still tweeting about it, so <laughs> they, that just goes above their heads. They say the game's forgotten about, but they keep tweeting about it, so obviously you're making it not be forgotten about, as you're saying in your post right there. Game was a flop. Yes, the game with like 10, I think 20 million people at this point is a flop. Okay. Except it isn't forgotten. The people are just playing it, and they are playing it instead of talking about it. Yes, it's all about the empty planets. This game would have been better had they condensed it down to a handful of planets. That's a dumb statement. That's not like somebody who didn't even play the game to begin with. Honestly, that's like the planets I did visit. There's plenty of plenty to do so far. So I don't know. Could definitely get over 100 hours of content from that game. People were saying the planets are empty. I just it's just like you obviously haven't played the game. Still top three on Xbox, and, I'm st and it's still top ten on Steam for a single player game that's un un that's unheard of after a couple of weeks. Yes, because most time when you play a game that's such a single player game, you play it for like a week and then it's done. The Discord is over with. But this game, people are still talking about it a month after release at this point. So, uh, played it for about five hours and was bored the whole time. Game of the generation, my ass. Okay, teach their own opinion. Uh, I didn't forget about it. I'm too busy playing it. Uh, 
Nah, you definitely took the short bus. People still talk about it and post clips and screenshots every day. <laughs> so a lot of people are just saying they're still playing the game. Because the game is phenomenal. Just the, just, just the weirdness about this whole, like, hating on Starfield. People want an Xbox to have games. Not they have a good game. They just want to trash it. It's like, it doesn't seem like you want to spark competition. It's like you just want a, a complete monopoly with Sony just being the star player. But when Xbox gives a good game, you don't give it credit. I see these, no one is talking about Starfield. Everyone forgot about Starfield tweets every day over the past week. Fact is, I'm reminded that the game exists and its impact every day because y'all won't stop talking about it. Facts. <laughs> they won't stop talking about it. It was so bad. Why did they keep talking about it? It's just hilarious. Forgotten, it is still talked about daily. It is the most polarizing game to come out this generation, honestly. We knew it was going to happen. The game was getting made fun of before it released. The game is trash. His whole his whole username is dedicated to hating on Xbox and Starfield. Very bizarre. Literally every, literally every effing single player game this year has suffered from this because there's a new game coming out every two weeks. But let's not act like people aren't playing this anymore. It is a fascinating case study in psychology when you think about it. They have generally convinced themselves that some of so, that some sort of controversy existed, that one of the best-selling games of the year is tanking, and that nobody is talking about it. Yet all they do is talk about it. <laughs> the irony. Literally all these clowns you follow are still having wet dreams over it. Things are keeping the hype alive, aside from Herman, obviously. I wish he would take over PlayStation. Yeah, they just fall in love with PlayStation fanboys, but say it's just this weird obsession with this game. It's just very odd. Uh, then why are you still talking about it, clown? If it, it was forgotten, imbeciles like you wouldn't be speaking about it. Now where are they? Holy brain damage. <laughs> the Xbox Generation BS talk started in 2009 with Forza Motorsport 3. Uh, okay. What do you think this post is doing? Is talking about the game that he says is forgotten. Y'all notice how the game of the generation keeps getting talked about people who never had any attention on Planet. Yes, because they are Sony zealots who only play on PlayStation. They can't think of playing on the Xbox. They they can they can just can't fathom playing on Xbox. Oh man. You know, it's just getting weird. Weird at this point. These so-called gamers who say they enjoy gaming, but won't, they don't want to play games, even though they're great games on other platforms. But yes, trash it consistently. It's just pathetic at this point. Hey, the game is good. I don't care what review scores stated. A lot of these reviews have biases. There's a type of hidden agenda against this game because either the pronoun situation because it's Xbox exclusive on PlayStation or they're mad because X Microsoft bought Bethesda. It's some type of agenda being pushed here. Or even the guy who was upset, the person, my, my bad, the person who was upset that the trans people at Bethesda somehow with a trans employer or something like that. So there's different agendas going on why this game is being so, so hated. But if this game was a multi-plat, this game would not be receiving the hate that it does. Um, I think it's a fantastic game, one of Bethesda's greatest games, and that is just my opinion. But people, this hate about this game is just overblown. A month after this game released, the game is still getting hate. It's just unheard of. Like, I don't people like Hogwarts Legacy received a lot of hate, but it's still not people. You don't see daily hate about that game on, on, a, on a daily basis. But this game is getting hate daily. <laughs> It's like other games have released. Why are you still hating on this game? It just makes no sense. But that is the Sony fan base for you. Hate on the competition uh, when they should be hating on PlayStation decisions. Why they only getting one big major first party game this year? Yeah, they should be more mad about that, but they're not. So that's that's my time for this video. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video. It's always thanks for watching and peace.